Introducing PidCalc Tool 2.0. This is a little utility you can pull up on your phone while you're out in the field to adjust your pids without messing up your tune. So let's go over how it works and we'll show you how it works simply on the phone. So it's pretty straightforward to use on your mobile device. Just go to theuavtech.com and here you'll see on, for now, on the front page, it will have this link to the new PidCalc tool and you can click on that. In the future, it's gonna be down under utilities and then the PidCalc tool right here. Once you click on that, you can go down and start using it. What I have here right now is you can select an iNav, a Kiss Ultra, or an Ardu Pilot, and that is gonna actually change the PIDs that are in here. So these are basically the defaults. So if you click on iNav, it's gonna put the iNav in. Some other changes that you'll see here when you use uh, Kiss Ultra, or RG Pilot, it's gonna remove this feed forward turn because that's not a thing with those two firmware, so you can see that. Uh, you can also hit the clear inputs and we'll talk about that in a second. Of course, with the numbers input in here, you can go ahead and change this at any time. So I can come in here and then go put in a five and hit next and then say I have my PIDs are a 0.45 here and then hit next and so on and so forth. Say this is a 12 for me hit next, and I can just enter the PIDs that I have. Then you can go down and use these sliders and say, okay, well, I wanna know what it's like if I have these PIDs here, and I wanna raise them all up a little bit to get a little bit better prop wash performance. So this will easily enable you to move all the PID gains up and see the new numbers down here, which you can then type into your OSD and you know, out in the field and put that in there. If you're able to, with your finger, double click, you can double click on the sliders, that will set them back to zero, or you can just go down here and hit reset all sliders. So if you can see, if I move these all around and hit, hit reset all sliders here with my, my finger, it will reset them all down. Uh, up here, if you don't want all the gains in here, which I use this quite a bit where I don't really wanna see everything, you can go up and just select the firmware that you're using. So say I'm using Ardu Pilot, but then I don't want to see all these gains. I just wanna know a couple little things. So I wanna go into here and say, okay, mine is 0.25 and then I got a 0 0.005 and then I got a, 0.0035 here, and that's what I wanna go with. Well, now I can just use that and then move that up a little bit and see what those new gains are gonna be like. And I don't get uh, the rest of the numbers down here, you know, kind of throwing me off as I'm, you know, looking at this, you know, and then looking into my OSD to, to move the numbers around. For the adjustments, we have here the master multiplier, which again, just moves them all up and down. So if I go and click on here back to iNav, and then you can see kind of all that. So if I move all them up or all them down, it keeps the ratio between the gains that you have up here of your inputs, and it keeps them all intact as you move them up and down. You can change your uh, P to D ratio. So that's going to move up your P and I gains together. Obviously, if you then want to slide your I gains down to change your P to I ratio, uh, the ratio between these two terms, that's what this slider here is for. Feed forward's gonna help with your stick response. If you're using iNav, obviously the other two don't have that. And then you got your pitch and then your yaw factors here as well to make them adjustments. If you're not sure what's what, you can just keep on sliding down further and it talks about, you know, which do you adjust for what things, uh, PDD ratio, damping versus, or push versus damping, drift versus wobble, so on and so forth. And then if you want some more in-depth on this, you have some videos down here, it talks about the DPI relationships, and then the number one ways to increase flight performance. And we talk about prop wash, bounce back, drift wobble, uh, I bounce, or y'all bounce back, things of that nature. So you can check out these videos. And I am gonna be redoing some of these videos to make them shorter. I'm trying to shoot for like less than two minutes because some of these are like, yeah, 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 yeah. They need to be a little bit shorter, some of them. If you don't have internet where you fly on your phone, don't worry about it. You do have to do a little bit of forethought, but if you go to this website, and just have it on your phone before you get there. You don't need to have the internet once the page is loaded. It's all, once the, the it's loaded here, again, all the scripts and all the, the code that does all this is all in it. You can even just make it a little easier for yourself to, at least on an Android, if uh, you wanna have it, add it to your home screen here. So it's a one button, opens the page right to it. So adding it to the home screen is just an easy way to click on it before you go, if you're gonna lose internet access to make sure it loads and then just to have easy, quick access to it right to the page, almost like a little utility tool on your phone. Of course, if you are on a computer, it's all the exact same functionality. Okay, well, that's it. Hopefully you found that helpful and hopefully this is a helpful little utility when, again, when you're out in the field, that's when I use it the most, type in the numbers. If you do see any improvements that you wanna see make on this, don't hesitate to let me know. Revamping this and doing it with HTML, it's obviously a lot more flexible. It's JavaScript enabled HTML code so I can make any changes to it that I want. And with ChatGPT, it's pretty easy nowadays. So let me know in the comments down below. My hope is you can go to this one single site and have 
basically tips and tricks for how to tune out anything. That's what I wanna add in those little videos and documents down below. And then you can use this utility up top to make fine tune adjustments. But outside of that, thanks everybody. I hope this helps and I hope it helps people tweak out little things on their pids and tunes and stuff like that to get rid of any nuisance things they've been dealing with.